G'day, Matt from Green and Gold Rugby here. Two big discussion points have been Will Genia's form and the inability of the Wallaby forwards to get over the gain line. What I wanted to do with this video is look at how those two things intersected in last weekend's match against Italy. Let's do that first by looking at the long lead up to the Wallaby's first try. Now we're two phases in from a line-out, and because we haven't made any progress over the gain line, we've got players coming back on side and no one moving forward. Uh, and we can see here that Sidalaki Tamani is sat back on his heels and he's about to make a run. But the problem here that I want to point out is that even when he's making his run, look at where this ball comes from Will Genia. Uh, really this ball needs to be out in front of him so he can attack the space, potentially on the outside, or at least get a good head of steam. But instead he's had to lean back on his heels and stop his run. Uh, this has stopped his progress, and we can see what happens in the ensuing tackle. Now it's Tamani, 120 kgs. He needs to be... In contrast, look at Will's next pass, this time to Ben Moen. It's on the money. It's right out in front of him. He can either attack the space that's there, or, as he does, transfer it easily to Adam Ashley Cooper on the outside, who makes a great break. In this next phase, Will delivers a pass to Tamani again, which is good enough. But instead of heading for this space, which you think he'd easily be able to exploit, instead he sends a really poor pass out to Quade Cooper. I only hope that that was on the back of a call and not his own initiative. Either way, a combination of Israel Falau's outside break and some poor defending from Italy allows the Wallabies to take the ball on. At the breakdown, Will gets hands-on and really needs to clear the ball quickly here. Instead, he lifts and has a look around the side of the ruck. This allows the Italian winger, Ben Venuti, to come up offside and spoil what's a fantastic 4-on-2 overlap for the Wallabies. Now that extra step from Genia took just half a second, but it was the difference between a certain try and a scrambled kick that wastes the opportunity. Now in these next two phases, the passes from Genia are fine. But what's the difference in the leg drive between Stephen Moore here, who manages to wrestle on for another two metres, and Sidalaki Tamani here, who gets stopped. To get his body height down. Pick and go here from Ben Alexander. Now the pass here from Hooper to Cooper is pretty poor, but just have a look at what Bertolami's done here. He's run so far out of the line, he's actually gone past no man's land. Makes it easy for Cooper, who just delivers a pass to Moen for the try. A few more quick examples now of where these passes aren't going to where they should be. One to Ben Alexander. He didn't exactly have a head of steam, but he needed that ball in front of him. Even his support player, Rob Simmons, had overrun that ball. The next one is actually a pass to Rob Simmons. Again, you can see it go to his back shoulder. He's had to stop his run to pick up that ball. Really, it needs to be in front of him, and he could have targeted that space directly where the referee was. To contrast it, here's an example of what a decent pass can do. The ball is out in front of Michael Hooper, and that's going to allow him to change his line. So he's actually going to get on the outside of Parise and get damn close to the line. But it's not all about bagging, Will. Here's a couple of examples of what makes him one of the best players in the world when he's on song. Unfortunately, it does start with another inaccurate pass. Here we see that James Hall has made a run and actually he needs that ball in front of him so he can target this space. But he's had to check his run and it stopped his progress. Here's where Will's vision comes into play though. He spotted this space that the Italians have left and he's also managed to spot the honey badger out on the wing past the prone bodies. It's a quick pass and a try. And Cummins, they're giving Nick plenty of opportunity. In the Honey Badger's second try, the sequence once again starts with a slightly inaccurate pass behind James Hall. But watch this. Genia not only spots that Cooper's coming around, look at this great pass that's out in front of the man. This is going to allow Cooper to continue his overs line and attract one, two, three, and quite unbelievably four defenders, putting Honey Badger in in the corner. The Wallaby's difficulty with getting over the game line definitely isn't all Will Genia's fault, but sometimes small margins can make a big difference both positively and negatively. The second half.